Pain is a complex perception, uh, which involves not only the spinal cord, but also the brain. Astrocytes are a type of glial cell in the brain and the spinal cord. And traditionally, it's been thought that these cells are purely support cells, but there's increasing evidence that these cells might be doing more than just supporting neurons. So in this new work, we found that astrocytes show forms of excitation different from neurons um, that implicate them in sensory processing. So if indeed astrocytes are part of a pain circuitry, this presents new opportunities for potentially treating uh, and preventing a variety of pain syndromes. So for the first time, we can visualize astrocytes in the neuron and the spinal cord. So by using that technique, we can newly elucidate the interaction between astrocytes and the neuron in the spinal cord. So exactly how the spinal cord processes information is poorly understood. To overcome this challenge, we've developed a variety of microscopy, surgical and computational approaches that allow us to stably record the activity of both neurons and glial cells in the spinal cord during behavior. And this now allowed us for the first time to watch in real time how these cells respond to sensory input um, such as touch. No one has characterized astrocytic activities in the spinal cord, so what I've found exercise is actively showing signals. That was really exciting moment to me. These new approaches uh, allow us to not only gain insight into normal spinal cord function, but also to get at the cellular mechanisms that underlie painful conditions. Uh, we hope that in the future, this will allow us to gain insight that will lead to development of new or improved strategies for treating pain syndromes.